What's up YouTube gang, it's your boy Yardy man. Before we start this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications so that you never miss videos like this. Also make sure you check out some of our other videos on this channel. Let's get this video here to 20 likes and leave some comments guys. This video today is brought to you by Harris. Harris is one of our subscribers and he has requested for a video on how to improve youth players growth quicker. This is the most advanced video we have done on a FIFA 21 tutorial. Let's get started. Welcome back YouTube gang to my channel. Today we've got a request from Harris. Harris wants to know how do you train your youth players? Well, the best approach to training them and getting their overall to the highest potential possible, as quick as possible as well. So the first thing I'm going to let you guys show you guys how this is done. You have to make sure that you go to your office. So the first thing when you join a club, make sure you've got enough money and go to youth staff. Now, here you can see a good example for us. Make sure that you sign a scout that has five star experience and five star judgment. Yes, you can get away with a five star and a four star judgment as well because he's good with experience and judgment is just one star off. It's not too bad, but the more stars you have, the better. Experience. I would pick experience, um, judgment over experience. The only reason why I'll do this is because judgment means he'll be able to tell you their actual overall. So that includes their potential and also the, their current overall. So if you didn't get a five star in your list, I'll show you, or you'd have to do something simple as this. You press X on the scout that you want to get rid of and you go to fire scout. Now I have to pay 40,000 which is the release clause that's not too bad but hey first time guys this doesn't normally happen normally you have to do this a couple of times it doesn't matter what nationality your scout is they are all good as long as they are five star five star you don't have to worry about the country that doesn't mean you have to go and scout in Sweden or you have to scout in in Russia no you could scout in England, you could go to Wales, you could go to Scotland, you could go to France, it does not matter. For this example, we'll pick we'll pick this guy from Russia. So there you are. We've got two five star scout staff. Okay, so what you do now, you set up a scouting network and say you're a person that you are a fan of Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar. And you know where these guys come from. So we know Mbappe is from France. So we will just go to France. It doesn't mean you're going to find the Mbappe. You go to France and, and this is where you choose the duration of how long you want your scouting to happen. So I would say nine months. You're spending 360000 to find the next Mbappe. You could go through type if you really wanted and go to winger and do stuff like this. But for me, if you go to any, you're going to get various amount of players you're going to get defenders you're going to get cdms you're going to get center mids you're going to get cams you're going to get strikers you go to any and you send them off now what will happen is your scout will give you a returning date so he's going to return on the 2nd of october 2023 for me okay that's when he's completed his nine months but you will be getting regular updates from him and you just need to go in and check those updates for this video, I'm going to fast forward until we get there. So I'll skip through this to let you know. And we are going to send this scout here to England. And we'll go on nine months as well. And we'll put on any. There we go. So we're trying to find the Sancho and we're also trying to find the Mbappe. Now, before we get further, guys, I'm going to show you that this actually does work before we do the experiments. And I'm going to show you my team currently. So this guy here called May, we'll call him Mayor. He is 69 overall right now and plus five for sharpness. So he's currently 74 overall. Now, when I got him on this on this um 
career mode, he was 56. So I've only done two seasons with this club and he was originally here. Now, one season they didn't play him because we had a lot of strong players on the bench. So the first thing I want to tell you guys, make sure when you've chosen your team for the career mode that you go through the team. And if you see, okay, in this position here, Cam, the best person in the team is, for instance, this guy right here. Say it was him. It's not actually, he's not actually the best person here, but you can see he's old as well. Now, the, the game will continuously keep on putting him there if you simulate the game. So you have to remember, the, f the way to get around this is to play the games. So you actually have to play the games or... You could sell him. If you sell him now, you don't need to worry about position because they will have no choice but to play the players that you want them to play. So as you can see, I've signed a lot of youth players right here. And there is struggle with, with sharpness for most of them because the game's not playing them while I'm simulating. So it's pretty hard for me to do this this tutorial, but I'm glad I've actually managed to get this experience up for you guys this experiment out I'm glad I've actually managed to get it done today now I'm going to show you a few a few players that we were using now mayor is the cam and as you can see in one season that's where he's 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 jumped up for me and if I really wanted to if I was to change him to a center forward he would actually go up probably by two plus two overall if we were to train train him to a center forward but our formation is cam, so I'm not going to train him to that. We'll get into that later anyway. Next part now, guys, I'm going to show you another youth player. Um, we was kind of doing a road to glory just to test it out. I bought Fernandez. This is not Fernandez from Manchester United, but he's another young player, I think, from Sporting. I'm not sure. A right, a right winger. He's a right wing forward. So there we go. I'm going to show you someone else as well. Okay. So even my single, I got him at 68 overall. He's now at 75 plus four. So that's 79 with full sharpness. And that's just in one season. I got him last season. And you can have a look at his stats right here. Now, Joe or Joe, Joeo Pedro. He is currently 81 overall. When I got him at this club, he was 74 now he's actually a 86 plus five with four overall and you can see his stats right there for any of you guys now bellingham we got him at 74 he's now at 79 plus four so you have to remember when you've got full sharpness your players will get an increase now they're getting plus five some are getting plus four another player i did try with was shen i got him at 56 as well same as mayor you can see this is a great example he has not gone up that much he's not really developed well because we're not playing him and as you can see he's not happy morale wise he's content his sharpness is at 15 so that's two things that's impacting his two things that's impacting his growth negatively basically so i'm going to show you another guy as well gillion or gion Gilon, here he's not happy the sharpness is at zero and this is just down to simulation again because i cannot play him as i'm not playing this experiment he cannot level up but i got him at 56 as well so you can see when you don't play them they will not level up as much so make sure you're playing your career mode that is the first thing that i can tell you guys to do another thing here this guy, I signed him at 60 and there you can see he's gone down to minus two because of his sharpness. So what you need to remember, guys, you have to play with, with these players. Otherwise, there's no point in signing them. So we've got through the basics now. I'm going to go and show you guys one more example before we, we get started. Have a look at the right now, the lower, lower right corner and you will see this player here he's our goalkeeper now to make sure that players develop well you need to make sure they're happy with player performance is green play time is green t 
team performance is green and also contract is green. Now, if you've got all of those on green, the players, the player will develop as quick as possible. So there will be no delay. He could probably jump plus five, plus six in one season. That's 14 if you play two seasons. So he will reach his potential as quick as possible. So that means you need to make sure that they're happy. As you can see, some of these players aren't happy with me. Reese Oxford, guys, I signed him in the previous season. And as you can see, he's at plus two. We got him at 69 as well. Yeah, he was at 69 overall. Now he's at 72 plus two. But have a look at that. Player performance is great. Team performance is great. Playtime is great. Contract is great. Now, if you guys don't understand what player performance is, that means is the player playing good and is he happy with how he's playing? Yes, he is because he's got good sharpness. Now, team performance, is his team playing good? Yes, his team is playing good. So he, he's happy with that. Playtime, is he playing often? Every game that you're playing, are you picking him to play in that game or are you subbing him on in that game to, to make him happy? Yes, he is. So there you see, green. Contract, guys. Contract can make a big difference. If your player requests for you to have a contract negotiation and you don't do that contract negotiation, that can impact his growth, his development. Believe it. So now you guys know a few of the basics. I can show you how to find the best player. So we're going to skip until we get a, re a, a report. And then from there, I will let you guys know further on. Okay, guys. So we are now in January. Hopefully, we should have re received at least one report from our scouts, which I can't see any here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't see anything to do with the scouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Youth Academy and I'll show you an example. So, for instance, this is a team that I've... Um, this is a scout report. Now, I have accepted these guys to join my team. Now, you can see because I've got a five-star judgment and five-star experience, this is the report that I have received. Now, for instance, you can see you cannot sign a player that is 15 years old to your senior team. I'll let you guys see that from there. Definitely not. That's the message that you will get. This player is currently too young to be promoted to the senior squad. Lovely. So if you were to promote him to the senior squad, guys, you'd have to look out for a few stats. Now you can see he is good in center, mid, CDM position and also a cam. But you guys need to remember that you're the manager. So you need to look at his stats and decide where you want him to play. Does he have, if he's a CM or a CDM, does he have short pass? Does he have short stand, stand tackle? Is he good at slide tackling? You need to check all of these stuff. Long shots, is if he's a CM as well, is really good. Long pass is really good. Free quick accuracy is, is, is a plus. Dribbling is a plus. And anything else, even ball control is also a plus. If he's a CDM, again, guys, he needs to have slide tackle. He needs to have stand tackle. That's over 60. Also, he heading accuracy is not too bad. But for here, you can see physically, he's weak. 48. For me, he wouldn't really make a good CDM. You could train him up. Don't worry about that. You can train him up. But at this present time, I'm looking at his stats. 41 for defending. Now, that would take you a very long time to train him up. Not really, because he's young. So what you would do, guys, is you would decide, okay, development plan is another video I, I would have to do to let you guys understand this a bit more. But for this example now, we've decided that we want him to be more upfront. We don't want him to be a center mid or a or a CDM so I want him to be further up I want him to be a C, uh, CAM so a CAM there we are so we would go to here guys and change his main position as you can see it would take him two weeks to train to complete being a CAM and as you can see his sprint speed would go up his acceleration would go up his attack position finishing vision long shot dribbling and also ball control now 
you cannot do two training at the same time so you can't do position and growth at the same time the way we work around this is you train him to the position first as you can see it only takes two weeks depending on the position that you want him to train as and then once you finish training then you've you've accepted it normally you have to press triangle once the two weeks is finished you will get a notification then you go to growth and go to balance guys now balance is the meta guys this is what you guys are wondering how comes my players aren't training so so quickly or they're not developing as quick as possible now you can see balance increases every stat now if you play them in a game guys every single game and i know you guys will be getting these players in lower leagues so it will benefit you you need to make sure you play them in every single game possible because that's how they will level up that's how their overall will, will go up as quick as possible so now you guys have a basic understanding of that we're going to move on to the next part which is just an example of what i've said i'm going to i'm going to bring the video to the end of this season and let you guys see where our current player that i showed you in the beginning i'll show you again anyway where he is his overall now another example that i forgot to let you guys know is when you change your position you can see in the top left hand what next to his position it says overall and it's on 59 so when we train him when we train him to a well develop him to a cam he will actually go up his overall will go up so that's also beneficial for you guys that are wondering why is my player not developing as quick as possible you're going to get a plus one or a plus two that's beneficial guys so that's my highest potential youth player guys we are able to sign him now i've got loads of them in the team and as i've said to you guys this is the one that i have found may are so there he is he's at 70 right now so i'm going to let you guys see where he where his stats is by the end of the season you can see as i said we started at 56 he's now at 70 and he's in the, the regular team so when we get to the end of the season you'll see how he does all right guys we have simmed to the end of the season and i'll let you see where we finished we finished fourth i'm not sure if we will be promoted next season efl championship i think yeah we will be promoted um the next season so this guys let me know if you want to see this road to glory i could save this and upload it completely for you so you guys can see it we brought them from league two now we are gonna go up to the premier league if i'm not mistaken anyhow guys i'll show you now where he is so mayor as you can see he's been playing no he hasn't really been playing so he's only gone up by two but he does still have a plus two now if you guys were looking at some of these players you would realize as i said oxford there he is you can see he's got he's gone up as well now this is the problem with when you you simulate the game because you're not playing the team the game can change whoever they want at a present time he was at 75 i know that definitely now he's at 77 he's at the age of 24 guys yes he's not a youth player but there i'm just trying to show you guys an example without me having to play through the game now i'm trying to find another youth player that's played you can see everyone is on bad sharpness so definitely not able to give you guys a good example from that but you can see wood has gone up by one overall a few of our players have gone up. i think massingo massingo has gone up as well plus two yeah yeah he's okay well, you know what we're gonna go and look on the squad report right now and that should give us a better a better understanding so this entire season jazz has gone up plus five i'm going to skip through a few of these players but our youth players that have played i know that okay pickering has gone up by plus three you can see he's leaving to to sheffield united as well after because we didn't do any contract negotiations with him anyway 
This is another youth, another youth player that we bought. He's gone up by a plus four, even though he's not playing. And as you can see, that's mainly because of team performance. Another player that's gone up by a plus three is offered. And Oxford has gone up by a plus four. When he joined, as I said, he was 69. Now he's 73 overall. Now, Nathan Wood is plus three. He was also 68 when he joined. Yeah, 68 when he joined. You can see a few of our players there. Johnson gone up by a plus one. Now, NG has gone up by a plus four for us in this season. Also, Valentin Ramirez, we just signed him at the club since 2022. So, yeah, we, we literally just signed him, I think, either this season or last season. So, he's up by a plus four. And Wint four has been up by a plus five. I think this is since he's been at the club. So, you guys can see that's just by playing the players. This is the most one that you guys should take take a look at. We just signed him in the previous season. He's not happy with his performance, but he is happy with team performance, playtime and contract. Now, the way you would get his player performance up is by increasing his sharpness. That's the only way to do it. Now, now if you also check, he's gone up by a plus five. So he was actually a 70... What 72? Sorry, yeah, he was a 72, but he's gone up by a plus five. Now, we are going to try and try to find another youth player as well to show you guys. So, as I said, this guy I signed him, he has a 90 plus overall as well. But because we're not playing, the game won't allow me to, to, to put him on the team permanently, even when I put him in the main squad. So, here we are, guys. Mayor, as I said to you guys, he was 56 when he joined our, our club. He is actually 72 now. In this season, he's gone up by plus six. In the previous season, he went up by plus 10 or something like that. So yeah, it does add up, guys. That's literally 12 in two seasons. Now, Sykes is another player we signed. He's at plus two. It, since we've signed him, we haven't really played him, so I don't expect him to be... To, to level up um, overall that fast. Now, if you have a look at Jude Bellingham, we just signed him in, I think, the previous... No, the beginning of this season. Yeah. And he's plus six. He was at 74. He's now at 80 overall. So, guys, remember, when you train your players and you actually play with them, they will level up. All of our team is leaving. There's Charlie Kirk. He's gone up by a plus four this season for us. He worked last season. He when when I originally joined this club, he was also seven sixty overall, sixty eight overall. So one season he went up to from sixty all the way to seventy six, and then from seventy six this season he's gone up um, plus four. So it was seventy five, and he's gone up by a plus four now in this season. There we go again. Jolson Fernandez, I think we signed him as well this season he's gone up by plus three Dale we've had him at this club for a while he's gone up by a plus three as well but he's not really playing so he's not happy as you guys can see Joel Pedro we've signed him for two seasons now guys and he's gone up by plus five I told you guys when I originally signed him he was 74 so he went up in one season by 74 to okay from from 77 78 would bring us to 83 yeah 78 so he went up from 74 to 78 so that's a plus nine guys in two seasons so literally that's how you handle the development guys i know it's a bit advanced for you guys but i did try to show it step by step I may have to release two parts of this video just for you guys to see, just to understand it differently. I don't want to confuse you. I want you to understand it a bit more. Before we end this video, I, I, I just realized Hugo um, Jesus, his position change has gone through. So we just need to accept it. And the way you do this is by pressing triangle. Have a look at his overall now. That should go up. You can see guys because we changed him from a cm to a cam 
he has actually gone up now by plus one to 62. And then we could go to growth and work on his balance. And as you can see, his balance growth will only take us two weeks to work on that. And then all of his stats will be going up. You can work on his weak foot. You can work on his skills. You can work on his attack, attack rate by picking V separate ones, whatever one you decide. But once you've achieved the, the result that you're looking for, always go back to balance. The reason why you go back to balance is because it trains everything, guys. So hopefully this video has been useful for you guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. And guys, if you want any more videos like this, just make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will make a video for you. Remember, this video was requested by Harris and Harris. We have uploaded this video for you now. So hopefully everything went well and you understand training now. If you guys out there also understand how to train a player and have been helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. And make sure you guys are leaving some comments to say if this was useful at all to you guys. If you learned anything, make sure you leave all the details in the comment section thank you guys for watching the episode if you've enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button we're on a goal to 100 subs so make sure you support this channel also smash that like button we would like minimum for all our videos to be on 50 likes so make sure you smash that leave a comment i'll see you in the next video like a candle i'm out